Welcome back to Raven Creek. Well, there's lots of people here. They're, they're gonna see me, right? Yes. Anyone there? <laughs> there's certainly garlic. Okay. They're not gonna be okay with me. They're responding to me like that already. And I stealth my way through here. Or do I just have to knock these people out? I mean, okay, I have a few more water arrows now. I can... Is that you, Kevil? What does that sound? I can maybe spend one or two. Oh, fucking torches here. I could leave that torch, I think. I definitely need to get this one to the left. Someone there? Someone there. Missed? There's a bloody one hour to spare for misses. <laughs> Bread, garlic, sausage, sausage. Although, I see valuables on the table. These torches just don't work very well, do they? I do see valuables on the table. Man, do I want to spend two more fucking... Well, one more. Maybe I don't need to do that one. Is this desk lady gonna see me stealing these sausages? No, apparently not. Oh, fruit as well. Okay, so when this other lady comes back down, we're gonna head up the stairs. And I think there's a guard up there, so I do need to be careful. Oh, the air is getting so filthy. Get stealth after all. Oh, so drafty here. No wonder they keep going out all the time. Over here! Help! He's, he's killed someone! Help! He's after me! Hurry! I hear you. Come on, ma'am. Great. I wasn't trying to Come kill him. So she came in to investigate. I'll find you soon enough. Well, maybe my dog was. It's one of my favorite guard uh, discovering uh, bodies lines. No good. Where are you, you tapper? Come back out here, you tapper! Uh, didn't that just get replaced this morning? Watch out. Something's going on, I tell you. Alright, well. 
Bullet arrow is completely wasted. I should have just been knocking everybody out to begin with. Instead of trying to be stealthy. Oh, well, I've got some replacements. I guess it's fine. But it definitely doesn't feel like a mission made to be stealthy. Rather than just KO everybody. Oh, well. How do you mean, other maid servant? You can come down here. Hang out with all these people. Maybe everyone's just drunk and under the table or on the table or whatever. I mean, you were obviously at the, at the beer kegs there. There's too many of you to do proper stories like the guy put the bucket on the head of the basket. I'll just carry you all down here and distribute you in the room. And just leave it at that. Oh, she ran, ran off. She's probably going to come back. She ran up out those doors, so she's probably going to come back in through those doors. But maybe she's off panicking somewhere else. I don't know. Either way, she probably won't see these bodies because of the darkness when she comes back. Hopefully. Hopefully not. Whoops. Mm, you know, you can just sleep there. That's fine. Alright. Anything I missed up in this area? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What were you guarding up here, Mr. Guard? Oh, somebody's asleep. Oh, is this the balcony that I saw from out in the town? Yeah. With guards and everything. There are still so many things to do. Mr. Dorman put me in charge of the birthday party of his daughter, Julia. Of course, everything must be the creme de la creme for that distorted shit of a girl. And woe if there's anything not to her satisfaction. That girl can be really capricious. Yesterday she ordered foie gras, but today she changed her mind and asked for roasted bark. How can I arrange a celebratory meal when her taste changes every day? Tomorrow morning I'll pay a visit to our butcher, Mr. Potka. I hope he will be exceptionally dry and can sell roasted bark. Word has it that he has some problems with his breeding barracks. They say that they could escape to make me laugh. How could they be able to elope? The main point is that he can sell the requested meat. Elope or escape? They're kind of different. Uh, I think they probably just mean escape again. I have to bother myself about the table decoration. That means I'll have to visit the market. The market garden soon. And then the tailor. I urgently, urgently need new clothing. I can't present the celebratory meal wearing my old suit of clothes since the whole town is invited. A housemaid still has to clean an eye in the tablecloth, this time with accuracy. Hopefully everything will go smoothly with the party. I mustn't make a single gaffe or I'll be the laughing stock of the village. What was that noise? It was you becoming the laughing stock of the village. Oh yeah, that you couldn't possibly wear that green dress to the party that just doesn't terrible taste, ma'am. I mean, I'm surprised you can still have a green dress like that. Green dresses are so... So out. So passe. <laughs> I love it when you do the foot plank, Carol. We know you love it when you do the foot plank. Okay, what's the book say? Oh my, how madame is bad tempered these days. She's never satisfied, nothing can please her, and all because of that birthday party of her daughter, Julia. Oh dear, if I was a rich woman, there wouldn't be any sorrows in my life. But I'm not, and therefore I'll have to go to the washing place at the crack of dawn to clean the tablecloth. Again, because it was not clean enough for madame the first time. Mina. Well, we have more loot. More lollipops, okay. I don't only just notice my health bar is feathers. Well, I guess we're gonna go out the front door. Ow. Come 
must be the uh, counter lady coming back. Okay, that's good. Well, as long as she stays downstairs. Walking about a lot. Well, as long as he's not coming up here, it's not really my problem. <coughs> Super the day, gin and tonic. Oh yeah, we came. Just scream. Yeah, we came here yesterday. Alright, I don't know where I'm going still, of course. I still have no idea. We've not really done any objectives much. Um, the lawyer's house. Well, that's not the lawyer's house. we still got a lot of loot to, to do. Where's my loot? Oh, actually, not too bad. Another 900, okay. Is there any valuables down in the beer garden? Doesn't look like it. Who's there? Guard right there. Get her with nothing. What am I gonna do about you? No problem. <clears throat> Maybe I should get back through the sewers after all. Jordan, that you? Feels like it might be the uh, might be necessary. We can fix that. Sorry, unconscious body. Alright, Mina. Where are you? I'm gonna put you in your own bed upstairs. Just because you have an identified name and an identified bed seems like uh, totally polite. Up your friend here. All right. Huh? Well, she did wake up, but someone there? No, it's just me that's sleeping. Gee, I must have imagined this. You just got woken up by Mina clumping a little noisily up to bed. All right. sewers for me then. Actually, was there anything else on this shelf? Since I don't need to hide, I can kind of look a little more carefully. No, I didn't think there was, but there was a possibility I might have missed something. Let's not leave any evidence of how we got in there, shall we? Okay, so that's everything that the sewers gave us. This was in... whose house was this? I don't remember, this one toy maker, was it? We came in? What's the mayor? What do we see there? These old buildings make too much noise. Oh, there's our guard friend. There's another guard friend on the way. Oh, seems to have hit a corner of no noise. Who's over there? Oh, that was close. Uh, 
just take his pets off. <clears throat> so, which way do I want to go? Can't go that way with the guard there. Isn't this way back towards the watchtower? Don't know. I have no idea where I'm going, of course. No map to help me out. I suppose I've been in this town for a while. I should know it vaguely. Yeah, this is the watchtower. This doesn't, doesn't get me any further into deeper into town. Oh, I'm going to have to go a long way around, aren't I? We'll cut through here. Sure. Oh, no, no, no. Is he not coming this way? I thought he was coming down here. Oh, shit, this is not very dark. Okay. I can stand so that the street light doesn't illuminate me, it's dark enough. So that's the beer garden. I guess I haven't explored that side of the canal. Uh, I haven't been in that house either. It looks like it might actually open. The guard's not looking. No, it doesn't. So if I want to cross that side of the river... Have I been up in that area, even? I don't know. I doesn't look so super familiar, but I didn't run across the bridge like that. I just don't know which one. Great guards. Okay, he's not... I was going to say, he's not coming this way, but this one is. Great. Just when I was ready to run out, I have to wait. don't really know where any dark patches to, to run into are. <gasps> All right, who's making the racket? Nobody important. I do not understand why this mission has such bad frame rates. Very few missions have had given me problems like this. Alright. There isn't that much going on down that way that I can see. But maybe some of those models have like a million polygons or something. Okay, I want to go behind this guy, but... Well, I want to go across the bridge to where he's coming from. Maybe if I sit here to wait. Hmm. Have I been down this area, though? How would I know? That door looks openable. I guess swimming, but the thing is, jumping in the water is very noisy, and everybody's already slightly alert. That's, that's a liability to make noise like that. Oh, that door doesn't open. It looks exactly like doors that do open. Oh, door here doesn't open. Is this door open? Lawyer's office. Hi, 
light switch. Good. Oh, phew. Okay. Right, what's that you? When somebody offered me this house last year, I thought that it would be a unique occasion. I furthermore thought that the price of this domicile was cheap because the heritages were in haste to sell it. Alas, I was disabused. This house has got a front entrance as well as a back way and is situated in the center of the village. All citizens use it as an abbreviation and walk through my house as if it would be a public passage. And it seems that I can't do anything against that mischief. First of all, I locked the doors, but a few months ago the key disappeared without a trace. Seems someone has stolen it. I asked the locksmith countless amount of times to manufacture a new one, but he uses my house as an abbreviation too, so he wouldn't dream of making a new key. Then I thought of breaking up the back door, but the local mason refused to take the job, since even he would have to take a day score on his way to the pub. The worst thing is that the pub is situated in the neighbourhood. In the middle of the night, roaring hordes of drunken people marched through my house. Recently, one of those imbeciles who seemed to have a queasy feeling took one of my precious vases and... Oh, that was ugly. My poor and beloved daughter, Julia, has to bear all that. But not for long anymore. I've contacted a mason from the nearby town who will break up the back door soon. This will be a birthday surprise for Julia, although it will be pretty expensive. Nevertheless, my house will be quiet and peaceful again. Jonas Dorman, lawyer. Okay, that's a unexpected predicament. Uh, you better not be turning the light on, man. If you turn the light on. Marilyn, of course. Invite Morgan. Maybe it's taking down a notch. See his face when he hears. Hmm. Okay. You didn't turn the lights on. Mr. Dorman, I'm sorry to inform you that we can do absolutely nothing against the through traffic in your house. Since the citizens of this town have used this house as an abbreviation for years, this can be considered as customary law. I furthermore, furthermore can't understand why you complain about these circumstances. It is well known that this house has been used as a passage for many years. You should have made inquiries about the property before purchase. Sincerely, Judge Schubert. Okay, so he goes into nope. He goes into another room, but not for long. <gasps> Who made that noise? Ah, now I have a repair nose. Okay. Catch line. Lord Wilson's mansion has been finished. Great opening ceremony and art exposition. Hmm. Oh, you have a key that looks interesting. Alright, don't get stuck on steps. When people say, well, it doesn't matter about the depth of the step. No, look at this step. There's tons of depth. I still got stuck on the top step because it's one unit high. Alright. <clears throat> wait, wait. There's somebody in Wales walking. It's like, wait, who's, who else is walking about this house? About the lawyer's house? It's just people using it as a thoroughfare. Oh, the guards are coming back. I can't run back inside just yet. He doesn't stay in there very long. <coughs> What's that I see? Okay. Calm down. Right there. Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. There's a dozen guards in the street in there. Is there someone else coming through here? I 
Okay. Anything valuable in here? Yes. That seems to be all. <laughs> and we'll be back soon. I'd rather follow him out and then we can go up the stairs. Slouch about in the shadows. <sighs> how did you even? Okay, you would have heard that, but how did you hear me lying on the damn carpet? There's nothing here, man. More light switches. I'm glad he's invested in light switches for his house. That makes it a lot more comfortable to sneak in and steal everything. No light switch here. That was on the wrong side of the door. Oh ho ho! Look at all the cakes. And I'm gonna be feasting. Making me hungry. Right. Is that a valuable alarm clock? No, but there's... There's Julia's present. Okay, I mean, it would have been funnier if... if Reading the diary, right? The whole breaking up the back door was going to be Julia's present. It's like, well, how am I going to take the bricked up back door? That's... Inconvenient. Okay. But this gift, presumably valuable. <coughs> Better not just be a boring book or something. Or something. I don't know, maybe we'll find out tomorrow. Oh, there's an upstairs. Valuable pot there, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'll even turn the lights back on for you. So you can see that it's gone missing. Okay. Oh, it's a very nice attic. Honestly. I'm surprised it's still just pretty bare beams that you haven't, like, uh, put up uh, a layer of ceiling. Mama. Mama. Oh, chocolate's beautiful. Mama. Mama. Oh, I'm so excited. Only a few days left of my birthday party. This will be the greatest social event of the year. Well, there haven't been any events like this for a long time now, but my 21st birthday will be the one. Daddy has invited so many people, and I'm wound up to such a high pitch as to which presents I'll get. He didn't spare any effort or costs, and has bought me two new dresses. But now I don't know which one to wear. Blue one or the red? I haven't decided yet. But the most important thing is that Mr. Garrett, this writer, is invited too. What a nice looking and interesting man he is. I never met a fellow like him. I wonder which colour would please him. Red or blue? Well, sorry Julia, I will not be coming to your party, and I've stolen your presents, just to, you know... But, uh, yeah, wear the red dress. Blue blue is so passe. Light green. And I've been in there. And I've been in here, right? Yeah. I guess I can leave the lights on behind me. Hole. 
Oops. Okay, so. Don't see too many guards around here just at the moment. Oh, where's this? Oh, yeah. Why is that dog barking at me? I thought I was friends with all the dogs in this town. You're not coming in here, are you, man? What? Why are you coming into the lawyer's backyard? If it's not the lawyer's backyard. Oh, the butcher has a key. Dang it, I want I want the butcher's key, but he's, he's got bodyguards, look at them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find another moment to get that, I think. the dog. Uh, <laughs> Who's that? Also someone with a key. I don't even know where I am anymore. It's like... Oh, you're the guard we picked the pocket up, right? No, you're a different guard. You're guarding the gate out of town. Okay. Can we get any, a view on what we've got here? Oh, you're all guarding the gate. I see. Where is this? So I feel like I haven't been in this area. Do you have a key on your belt? No, I'm seeing your sword. All right. Well, dang it! All these bright mushrooms everywhere. This. Wish they didn't grow such bright mushrooms in this town. Oh, was this the wine place? Didn't I start here? Who's making those noises? Me. Who did you think it was? Raven Creek News. Lord Wilson does the honour. In celebration of the finishing of Lord Wilson's country mansion, there will be a grand opening ceremony next weekend. Furthermore, Lord Wilson will proudly present his considerable and precious art collection. No less than Lord Ashton and Sir Throtgar will be the honoured guests. Given the fact that the exhibition shows many valuable items, the security precautions have been severely intensified. This measure will guarantee that no unwelcome guest can disturb the party. Very well. All oh, right, I came past here when I went to the pub on the first day. I didn't come past here tonight. But it was still a sleepy Sunday. Came out this direction. Tom, there are snakes in our garden. How can these disgusting beasts come in? If there should be a hole in the wall, then find and close it immediately. Then search the garden and kill every snake you find around here. I dread to think what could have happened if one of those beasts had bitten me. Even that whispering almost made me die. Do what I told you and do it fast. Anna Burnbacher. Oh no, is that an objective? 
Snakes, those are bad memories. Let's kill those nasty beasts. Those are very bad memories. Dang it, you know. I see one of them there. No, you're making me do this again. I am not happy about this at all. Can I get up here? Let's let's try. Okay. If I can maybe tackle. Oh no, I I can see them. Did I kill it? I can't see them for some reason. Things are hard to hit. Okay. That's two snakes. I don't know if I'm wasting all those other arrows, but... Oh, there's no friction on this. I wonder if I'm having trouble. Oh, very low friction. Are there any more snakes? Yes. Alright, is that all of them? Good. Okay. <gasps> They're jumping in the well, but I can't. Are you dead? Tom the gardener. I mean, maybe. I didn't do it though. So I better just leave his body alone and. Try not to leave too many fingerprints on it, huh? You see, snakes are not as uh, difficult to kill. Yeah, all those other all those other arrows are wasted. So I only have four left. That should probably be okay. Tomato, thank you. Strange little corner. Alright, Tom, what is in the greenhouse? Lots of plants. in the greenhouse except plants I mean that shouldn't really be surprising should it aha uh -huh. and a hidden purse okay I'm just trying to see if there's anything in those but probably not Although, Tom the Gardener bitten by a snake, but the snakes are dead. Nobody's going to believe that he was bitten by a snake, right? Maybe he fell in the well by mistake. Oh, it's deep. I mean, he got bitten by a snake and drowned. I was going to pick it up and drop it in the well after him, but I guess I can't. There's wine man. Is someone there? How odd. There's nothing there. Just gonna steal all your vegetables. Hmm. What was that? Help! Help! There's someone. Oh, 
Sorry, man. I'm just trying to be quiet and physics wouldn't let me. I couldn't mantle the edge properly because of the damn overlap because of the construction of the thing, so. Uh, rest, rest among your. Rest on a bed of pumpkins. They're comfortable, right? Hello. 2549, getting close, getting close to our goal. Oh, he's coming back. Hmm, I'm starting to see things. I'd better get some rest. You should do that. But no, you're gonna keep walking up and down, aren't you? Oh, I have rope arrows now. I can't remember where I wanted them for, but hey, there's a balcony there. That might be a good place for a rope arrow. Huh? After going here, of course. When we find the key. Somewhere. Hmm, I may have to stop in here for a drink later. You mean later? You're gonna be out of town, Garrett. These look suspiciously like banners. Well, they, can, they can't be cut down, is that it? Wayne Stalkey, Wayne Stalkey. He just dropped his key there. Oh right, I wanted to go up the damn rope. <sighs> have I been in this house? I don't think I have. I've got a whiskey bottle in there. Oh, uh... well, they got whiskey bottle everywhere. Including in that chamber pot. I definitely have not been in this house because I have money that I had not stolen. Always a foolproof way to tell. The great Burrick chase is approaching tomorrow! At last, there will be something going on here. Well, our butcher Potka has really completed it. He asked me for help in order to catch his precious breeding Burricks alive. I'm going to finish them all. So what? Since Potka has been certainly to let them escape, they are free to be chased. And I'll get a couple of new trophies. I see. We can't have that. We must protect the barracks. They are vital parts of our uh, environment. Where is this? Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess I need to come out that way. Come to think of it. Oh, gods. Right, we're right here by the wine store, I see. <clears throat> hmm, any fresh veggies here I can take? Yes. Is that a ledge? That is a ledge going up there. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I could rope my way onto that ledge with a rope arrow. <sighs> 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 
Aha. Where does that take me out this direction? Right, this is overlooking... Have I been in that garden? I don't know. That's as far as it goes, this way. busy crawling along the rooftops above your head, man. Oh, are we all just back here at the market where I started? Yep, there's the... I still didn't take the arrow from the back, did I? Maybe I did. Doesn't act, they don't appear to have it. Is that another ledge there? Or is that an overhang? I can't tell. It could be an overhang. Well, I can go all the way around this house, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Dang, I thought it was onto some kind of secrets, but... Apparently not. <laughs> I guess I should try and drop down. Some food. Oh, we can't pick this lock. Magic shop. Anyone there? Oh, well. Guy having a lot of trouble with the uh, oh, no. the gates there. Maybe I can pick this lock uh, if I can get up the stairs. No, nope. can't pick this one either. Maybe they keep a spare key under the stairs? Nope. <laughs> Maybe they hide a spare key down here behind the barrels. Also, nope. Weird. Butchers. Oh, there's a spare key. Come on, Garrett. Oh, getting, getting stuck on those stairs, just trying to run up them. Those are very poor stairs. Let's, uh, oh, I guess we can walk up again. Okay. Oh, a flash bomb. Guard friend in the backyard. Do they have any valuable potions? They've got some garlic to add to my garlic collection. A little bit of money to add to my money collection. More garlic. No thanks. <laughs> Not ever that hungry. <laughs> Not taking the dead rat yet? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Do I want to go out the front door? That's the back door. Probably don't want to go out the front door, right? Nothing there now. 
What do I see there? No, it stopped. Guess it was nothing. He has trouble that day every time. Alright, we'll just uh, leave this back to you where they... Where they left it. Oh, yeah, I feel like I've been here before. Yeah, it's the dog. Maybe I didn't come out this way? I don't remember. This all, the town all looks the same. And I don't get any sense of direction from this compass because I have to stop think about which way it's pointing. Oh. It's a very terrible time. Where's the butcher? We need to find the butcher in the butcher shop. What else do we actually have to do? Okay, it's only our loot goal missing right now, but... Gonna walk into me there, mate. <laughs> huh? Hello? Anyone there? Hmm. Guess it was nothing. Have I been here? Yes, that's Wine Man. Okay. That's the guards at the gate. I think I need to find a lawyer's house again. Is someone there? Hello? Oh, there's a lawyer's house. Hmm. I haven't been out to the right around this way either. Oh, I haven't have I been in there. Looks like it opens. Or is that where I went after the ledge? Maybe that's where I went after the ledge. Yeah. So the ledge runs around the... was right by the magic shop. Who's there? No. Oh. Hello? Probably just some... Hmm. Rookie. The place up there I might be able to get to as well. <clears throat> if I'm careful about it. I'm aiming better than that. What? That's wood, isn't it? Is that not wood? Hmm. The house is worth that, right? Nope. I mean, not the, not the edge of the roof. I mean, we can, like... <sighs> Try and see what's going on. Oh, God, we're getting stuck on this. So not good climbing material. I'm gonna have to reload because I'm wasting all my ropes now. But I'm just trying to see what the hell is going on with that platform that looks like wood, but maybe isn't. I guess it's not wood, and it's just there to taunt? With an open window? Don't see how you're supposed to get onto that. Unless you can get in there. Alright, well let's reload this. 
Absolutely a waste of ropes. We don't need to countenance. I must have taken her arrow already. Oh, is that the watchtower? Where's my watchtower key? Ah. Okay, so we can get in there and we'll be able to look out through the window. Oh, that's a better way out of the watchtower too. Let's just leave that shut for the moment. Worthless alarm clock. <gasps> Weekly report of the officer on duty. There was a lot of work this week. Unfortunately, all the barracks of, barracks of the butcher, the barracks of the butcher, escaped and ran out of town. We tried our best to catch those beasts, but they are not only well nourished, but also cunning. Let's hope that we will be able to entrap the herd in order to get them back into their stables. Otherwise, we will face hard times of vegetarian food. Regrettably, our butcher Potka wasn't much use to us. We've had to arrest him twice because of his drunken ravages. Lately, it would pay off to have a specially built sobering up cell for him. But alas, there is a lack of money, and I had to lock him up in the attic as usual. I ordered that newcomer Parker to clean up the mess tomorrow morning. I cordially dislike that guy. I wish I could scare him away. Why do they transfer those kind of men for disciplinary reasons instead of firing them? To be honest, Parker found out something important today. The so-called writer named Garrett is in real life a wanted thief. The sheriff is after him, the hammerites want him, and even the mechanists have a score to settle with him. They all want his head, and there is a considerable reward for it. Should I arrest that thief, it could mean my long overdue promotion. I sent all my men on patrol in order to close the city gates. This so-called master thief will never escape. The hunt has begun. Oh, you're, uh... Ah, I see. <laughs> so we could get out on this ledge. Which is a little strange, because there's not really anywhere to go from here. It doesn't feel like instant death. Yeah, which it gets stuck. It's a very strange choice to make that openable. Someone making noise. Dang it. You might be a problem. Way back down. Breeding barracks escaped. According to the report, all the breeding barracks of Butcher Potka have run away. Alas, we couldn't find out where these animals actually are. All citizens are required to stay within the city walls because these barracks are very dangerous. Butcher Potka will try hard to catch them within the next few days. We'll keep you informed about the latest developments. Mm. We can take a look on top of this beam, but I don't think we'll find anything. We can get stuck up here too. Oh, there we go. Well, nothing up here except a couple of arrows. Okay. So is that guard going to be a nuisance for us on the way back down here? Yes, he is. Hello. Show yourself. I will show myself out. Come on. I saw you. Step on out. Well, I'm waiting. <sighs> Who goes there? Just my imagination, I suppose. Come on, coward. Face me like Wait. a man. <laughs> Someone's in the backyard. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh, well. Who's there? Hello? <laughs> well, there's no one here now. Why is everyone coming into this backyard? Hmm. Guess it was nothing. What's that in the shadow? 
Nothing, nothing. Well, I guess this is a pretty good place to leave it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.